Hey guys, I am Caleb Anderson and I am back with the Living in Greeley segment of this channel here to provide you some more information. I am a member of Sukup Real Estate Services. We are always happy to talk with you about real estate, Colorado, towns and neighborhoods, or really anything related to any of those. So if you guys need any more information, if you wanna reach out and talk about the area or have questions for us, we would love to serve you. So email, text, social media, Google, whatever you want to do, get a hold of us and we would be happy to serve you any way that we can. That being said, so you never miss any more information about Greeley or living in Northern Colorado in general, if you guys could go ahead and hit the subscribe button down here for me, we would greatly appreciate it so we can make sure that you uh, help serve as many people as possible. Today, our focus is predominantly Greeley, Colorado, more specifically the best neighborhoods to live in in Greeley, Colorado. As a general rule, Greeley was pretty much developed from east to west. So you're gonna have your older neighborhoods with kind of some more character, more funky houses, less uniform on the eastern slope of the city. And then as you start to move further and further west, you're gonna have newer developments, newer communities, probably some more regulations like HOAs and things that the older communities don't necessarily um, require, et cetera. So there are some big pluses and minuses on both sides of the equation. Let's go ahead and get into the two and start talking about neighborhoods. These are in no particular order, but here are the six, 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 neighborhoods that I would recommend in Greeley, Colorado, if you are looking to purchase and move to the area. Let's get into it. The first neighborhood that we're gonna to discuss today is the Promontory Development out on Highway 34 in West Greeley. Promontory is a community of primarily uh, single family homes and townhouses with great proximity to I-25 and Highway 34. You are about as far west as you can go in Greeley. And so you're not gonna have as immediate access to the downtown life and the restaurants and the shopping centers, but there's some great, great new build products out in the Promontory area. And again, if you're a person who's going to commute to Denver or Loveland or Fort Collins, or if you work at the JBS headquarters up there in, in Greeley as well, you're gonna have great proximity to work. So the Western location right there off of Highway 34 is really incentivizing to a lot of people who commute for a living. So Promontory is our first neighborhood we wanted to highlight today. Our second neighborhood that we wanted to highlight today is University Hills, and it is aptly named because it sits in direct proximity to the University of Northern Colorado campus. With that, you're going to get a pretty diverse set of people in the community. You're going to have young couples, you're going to have students that want proximity to campus, and you're going to have working professionals that want proximity to the downtown area. So it's a pretty well melded community, pretty diverse, nice and safe neighborhoods. I think just as you get to the west side of campus, you start to see less and less students kind of as you work further west. So the eastern half of University Hills is really going to be pretty heavily student populated. And outside of that, as you go further and further west, you're going to see more and more families and working professionals pop up. But it's a great place, um, especially for first time buyers in Greeley. It's a little bit more affordable and there's some great homes in the neighborhood. So it's a great place to start your search. Number three on our list is a quieter and more developed community, the Fox Run neighborhood. Fox Run is known for its shady tree-lined streets. It does have some senior living in the area, so it might have an older denomination than maybe that University Hills location. It is a little bit further west as well, so you are not right on campus. You've got a little bit more privacy from the student life activities, but you still have great proximity to medical care in Greeley, kind of in that north-northwest little corridor. You also have great access to still your shopping and to your restaurants. So there's a lot of advantages to the Fox Run neighborhood. The fourth community and neighborhood coming in at our list is the Mountain Vista neighborhood. It's aptly named for its mountain views over in Western Greeley. Additionally with that, I like to call it the neighborhood of cul-de-sacs, which is awesome if you're a family and you've got young kids, you want the ability to send them outside and ride their bike, go play catch, not worry about all the heavy traffic coming up and down the, the main thoroughfares which with Mountain Vista, you're not gonna have to deal with. So it's super incentivizing if you have young kids or if you're a family, or if you just want some more privacy that is provided by that cul-de-sac lifestyle and versus kind of the hustle and bustle of some busier streets. So there's some major advantages to the Mountain Vista community. Additionally, most of those homes were built in the early 2000s. So I think people tend to really like that it's not an older product. You don't have to expect heavy renovation or lots of remodels and upgrades, etc. These are all beautiful move-in modernized homes, but they're also not mass produced and new builds. So it really gives kind of the buyer a sense of security that they're getting into something that is solid and well-made and really is gonna last them and their family for a long time down the road. So Mountain Vista is the fourth community I wanted to share with you guys today. 
Number five on our list is the Poudre River Ranch community. And this one's actually really cool. Poudre River Ranch is a master plan community, which means that the goal was for the residents in the area to have access to all the amenities that they want within pretty much immediate access in the community. Additionally, there is a swimming pool, tennis courts, about 150 acres of open space for your enjoyment. The community also backs up to some open equestrian areas, which is pretty uh, unique in Greeley. There's some equestrian trails over there. So if you are into the horse lifestyle, or if you want to get out and do some trail exploring, and you do have that option as well. Additionally, the rest of Greeley's landscape is relatively flat, kind of as you come up towards the foothills as you leave Greeley. But as you're in the Poudre River Ranch community, they actually are a lot more hilly, so you get a unique landscape, designed privacy, and great access to all the amenities that you may need. So again, a little further west in Greeley, but a beautiful community with some excellent products for people that are looking to move to the area. Number six, last but certainly not least on our list, what a tongue twister, is the Virginia Hills community. Virginia Hills itself, lays just between like 40th and 50th Avenue here in Greeley. I like to consider anything east of 23rd Avenue, East Greeley, 23rd Avenue to about 35th, maybe 40th Avenue is kind of your central Greeley. And then from 40th and over to the west is kind of your West Greeley, your newer communities, et cetera. So Virginia Hills kind of flirts on that line with central and west Greeley, which is great because you have excellent access to schools, to parks, to recreation. You're still close to downtown, so you can get, get to the shopping centers quickly. You can make it out to a restaurant. You also back to some open space to the east as well as Greeley West Park. You're in the immediate proximity to Greeley West High School. So there's a lot of major advantages to being in the Virginia Hill community. There's a lot of families in the area. It tends to be something that is relatively affordable for those looking to move into the area and still provides a lot of the, the upside of the further west communities. So those are my reasons for including Virginia Hills on this list for you guys, but definitely a great neighborhood to check out. All right, guys, those are my six communities that I'd recommend taking a look at if you are interested in coming to Greeley, Colorado. Again, do your own research beforehand. It's important to know what's important to you and your family, what amenities you want close proximity to. If you're a big downtown lifer, by all means, I don't recommend going as far west as possible. You're gonna miss out some of that some of that lifestyle. But if you have to commute and you have to head west anyways, I don't recommend being in East Greeley. So it's really about finding what is important to you and really narrowing down your criteria so you can find a home that fits you and your family for forever. That said, I am Caleb Anderson with Seacup Real Estate Services. Please, if you ever wanna reach out, if you have questions about the video, if you have um, Greeley or Northern Colorado questions in general, we would love to help you. So text, call, email, Facebook, socials, Google, drop a note off, hope it finds its way, put a message in a bottle. We don't care, but reach out to us. We would love to help you guys in any way that we can. And we love talking real estate in Colorado. So again, I'm Caleb Anderson with Sukup Real Estate Services. Thanks for your attention and we will be seeing you soon.